sometimes some of the most creative end results in the craft corner start with solving a problem. Let's head in there today because this is a project called a wall plaque that came about because Elizabeth Westveer with Silverwing Studio didn't have a kill big enough, big enough to meet someone's request, right? Mm -hmm. So you said, no problem, I'll figure a solution. I did. Um, they wanted a large piece to go over their, uh, their fireplace, and my kiln's pretty small, so what I decided to do is make a patchwork-type design for them where I could piecemeal my pieces into the kiln. And I gotta tell you, the results are amazing. So how did you get to this point? I first found out what size picture that they wanted, and so I cut out a piece of crafts paper to that size. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I drew a design that they would like, and then after that, I started cutting out all the pieces. Okay. Then I cut out a piece of clay uh -huh. that I've rolled to half an inch thick. And I, as I cut it out, I laid out the pieces and so that each piece would um, come separate and I could like take a them puzzle. apart. And they become a puzzle. Neat. Then I decided I hate just flat designs. So I started using clay and slip which is a liquefied clay, mm -hmm. doilies, crochet, lace, anything you can get your hands on. And I started creating my design and layering it. And it's really easy to do by just sticking your stuff in the clay and getting it out and starting to layer it onto your pieces. What will happen during the kiln is it will actually burn off the actual piece of fabric. But, but all of the clay that's around it will create that form. So you oh, come out wow. with this this type of form. And you want to clean up your edges and everything at this point. Okay. And I use a, an underglaze, which is a, a coloring that goes under your vinyl glaze coloring. So okay. you put this on. You can either do it before bisque or after bisque. And I start layering my glaze color. So I have like a burnt sienna on the bottom with some deep yellow, and then I put green on top of it. Ah. And I keep layering my different colors again and again, over and over. And then I put it in the bisque kiln. And that's where we get up to this point mm -hmm. right here. And this is as it comes out of the bisque on this side. So you can see the vibrant colors on how they'll uh -huh. end up. It comes out of the kiln looking like this. And I have cut out a piece of plywood that I like. Then you start gluing it down. This is amazing. It is beautiful. And look at that end result. I told you, creativity born out of necessity. That's where we get some of the best projects we ever share with you. Go to our website, WLOS.com. Click on the Craft Corner link. We'll get you the instructions that way. We'll also let you know where you can find Elizabeth and her wonderful designs at several galleries. And she also does some shows every now and then. So we'll link you to that information as well. Elizabeth Westphier with Silver Wings Studios. Thank you so much for a really creative idea. I love those. Those are beautiful. Uh, yeah, it's a little whimsical, but mm -hmm. very cool. And you could do it. In, that's a landscape, obviously, but you could do it even like taking a picture of someone with a portrait and then kind of having some fun with it. That could be interesting. Mm -hmm. Sounds complicated. I think we'll let her do it for us. Exactly. I was going to say, just let Elizabeth do it for you. <laughs>